Utah's Great Salt Lake is shrinking, and the impact could be life-changing for all of Utah, even the world. KSL is joining Utah scientists, educators, media outlets, and others as well in an initiative to inform Utahns about the plight of the lake and find some solutions here. Dan Spindle showing us just how big of an issue the falling lake levels really are. Dan? Well, guys, let's be honest. The Great Salt Lake, even though it looks beautiful here, sometimes gets a bad rap. It's salty, a little smelly at times, certainly not a top lake vacation destination for most families. But there's a good chance a lot of Utahns have no idea just how much we take the lake and what it does for granted. The Great Salt Lake, right now at its lowest levels ever. A number of factors are to blame, including drought, urban development, and water use. Check out these satellite images here showing the changes since the 1980s when water levels hit historic highs to the more recent photos when we see historic lows. Since the pioneers first stepped foot into the Salt Lake Valley, the Great Salt Lake has dropped to half its size. So why is this such a big deal? Well, dropping lake levels are seriously impacting Utah's air quality, our snow, our water supply, also our economy. Dust from the dried up lake bed is putting toxic materials into the air, material that could significantly increase our risk of cancer and other diseases. Less lake water means less lake effect snow. Less snow means less snow melt, which could mean less water for us to drink, for farming, for recreation. The lake brings in $1.3 billion into Utah's economy every year, and it's one of the most important pit stops for migratory birds in the western United States. In short, the shrinking Great Salt Lake is a complicated problem with local and even worldwide implications that could potentially be devastating. Together with the Great Salt Lake Collaborative, KSL is committed to reporting on this issue and potential solutions. We will be bringing you regular stories and reports along with all of our partners as we all try to embrace the lake and protect its future. You can find out much more about this collaborative project and weigh in on the potential solutions. Do that on our website, ksltv.com.